Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. Make sure to check out Mr. Popsit Live. It's my brand new channel and it has all the non-procedure videos and it's the place I answer all the questions and you can come and interact with me. Make sure to check it out. It's free and it helps me keep this channel, Mr. Popsit, free as well. Thanks for popping by. Okay guys, Mr. Popsit here. This is a common occurrence. We see hydronitis superativa we talk about a lot, which is a chronic inflammatory autoimmune condition of the sebaceous glands in different parts of the body, including the axilla, which is where we're at here. And you can see sometimes scar tissue, blackheads form and some ingrown hairs. She has a little ingrown hair there. It's kind of curled up. I'm going to pull out and we're going to put in a little lidocaine to numb her and then we're going to drain this pocket and she's going to sleep better tonight for sure <laughs> so let's get her prepped here and ready and we'll get this done pretty quickly for her okay so as we know we always talk about the acid base shift that happens with inflammation it's going to be a little pinch and burn here okay just a tiny bit right surface there so i'm going to do a little bleb where i'm cutting here a little one down here lidocaine very superficial but it increases the pressure sometimes. I'm gonna do a little bit up here too, cause we're gonna see if we can get that curled up hair out of there. A little bit right there. Good. Okay. So a simple 11 blade is all we need here. And we're gonna do a little poke. Let me know if you feel it at all. You okay? Mm -hmm. Good. There we go. So we can see here, a lot of hairs are coming out. You can see that, there we go. I think you may have had a cyst in there. That's possible too. That was a big pop. You see all these hairs curled up. This is a big pile of hair there. Look at that, that's interesting. With some, looks like possible small cyst contents. She had a blackhead right above there, so that's possible. You see these long hairs. You can see that against the white right there. That was, wow, that was pretty long actually. Very good. Let me just do a little bit more squeezing and wipe there. See this hair right there big clumps. So that's good. You actually had a lot of hairs in there. So getting those out is always nice. And here's a big ingrown hair that could have been the start of it. Sometimes you get one hair in there. They're like almost an inch and a half. Getting those out. You're going to feel so much better. She had this hair here. I numbed her a little bit. I'm going to see you got kind of a clump. Yeah, this is a clump of hair here coming out. And see those doing okay I numbed you there I just pulled out a lot of hair <laughs> it was kind of in that pore which was probably a little part of the cyst there a little bit more here sorry the deep parts almost impossible to numb when it's inflamed like this so that's why I just do a little bit at the surface let's see if we can get a little bit more in the deeper pocket now you feel that there mm -hmm. okay a little bit here. Do you remember having a cyst there at all? A little bump or anything like in the past? Maybe a little one. Okay. It could, it, yeah, it could be. There's a little punctum there. So I see like a little blackhead. That's possible. There's the blackhead right there. Just got it out right there with a little hair on it. So that could have been the uh, offending pore. <laughs> Let me just, I'm gonna make a little bit bigger cut. Are you okay there? Mm-hmm. Good. Not much bigger, but just to get the bottom, see if we have a little bit more in here. Yeah, we're starting to get blood. We're getting down to the, the end of it. If I'm pushing too hard, let me know. That's good. a lot better already 
and I can see what may be some cyst particles there, just that small cyst by the surface. It's just kind of all mush though and a little bit of fat tissue. But I'm gonna see if I can pull out. There's a little sack there, if she can tolerate that right at the surface there. Okay, so we're gonna see right here, a little bit of sack wall there. Let's see if we can get that with minimal pain with a little bit of tugging here. And you're not feeling much there, just tugging? Any sting? Let me know. I can put more in if you need it. No oh, sting, just a little just pressure. A, okay. Just, it's a little, it hurts a little, but I'm okay. Yeah, just like a little pressure. Mm -hmm. I'm going to see if we can snip out that little sack right there. Good. Yeah, so that was an inflamed cyst with hydrogenitis ingrown hairs. <laughs> and you can see that it's a little double whammy. <laughs> you had a little bit of both. side it was not a big cyst I can see like edges of the wall here not huge yeah and that's that's all lining there little lining on it so that is good I'm hoping if you uh you formed a cyst at the surface there and then ingrown hairs underneath kind of that's what the hydronitis is I'm gonna see over here, you got a blackhead. No, that's all cleared. We got those hairs out. Some hairs right there too. Yeah, that looks good as far as cyst wall goes. Now I put in um, a good bit of Lido. The bottom, I can't, it just won't numb. That's why I'm not gonna go in and start scraping down there because it'll be very painful for you. Mm -hmm. We basically get out all the pus we can. Most of, yeah, I can see your tender there. Um, when we just get a little drop of blood and there's no more contents, that usually means, yeah, there's not much left in there. I'm gonna push from different angles here. And we're gonna get her on a plan for hydrogenitis that we do before Humira, which is some good antibacterial washes, some topical antibiotics, and see if we can get that to dry up with an oral antibiotic for a couple weeks here. Yeah, that's all we're gonna get. I don't feel any sinus tracks down anywhere around. It's just right there local. Perfect. So very minimal scar. You see just that little cut. She's got a blackhead here and kind of an open pore with a little blackhead beside it. And a lot of ingrown hairs now that we kind of clean that out. I think I may flush just a little bit of saline in here um, and see if we get any more additional hairs. And then that'll be it. We'll do a follow up actually in a couple of weeks and see how she's doing all this induration, which is the response to the ingrown hairs in that um, cyst wall that we pushed out. Uh, we'll go down with the antibiotics. So thanks for popping by and we're just going to do a little flush and put a bandage on for her. Thanks to her for sharing her procedure. Perfect.